I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will discuss about Scala classes. Before starting with the today's topic, I request all of you so to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. Scala is object oriented. So object, object orientation is done in Scala with single class inheritance. And Scala classes are like blueprints for creating objects. They can contain methods, values, variables, types, objects, traits and uh, classes which are collectively called as members of the class. And with the class keyword, we will create a class. So now let's see how to create a class. I have created a Scala worksheet. We can actually create the class uh, using like this. Okay, go create a project and inside the source and you create a package and right click on the package new Scala class and enter some name and then click on finish a Scala class will be created okay that we will see in the later videos with a sample Scala code but now we will see how, how to create a Scala class and what, what are the methods and fields available inside that that we will see in today's video so class is the keyword used for creating a class so now let's say we are creating a class first class and it should be inside a curly brace and it shouldn't be inside any of the other object or something okay because this is a Scala worksheet by default it has created with a object but we can have class like this and we can also have let's we can consider this as a base class and it can have objects traits classes members methods everything i mean fields methods everything inside this class definition and let's say we have a variable like this okay so this inside this uh, class class is the keyword class name inside this we can have all the whatever we just discussed and these uh, uh, variables whatever we declare inside the class are called fields and whatever functions we call we create inside the class are called as methods and these fields methods all together we can consider as class members i mean members of the class and let's say we have a function which takes some input okay just for your understanding i'm writing it how we can uh, uh, create a method and field inside a class and how can we use them in the outside of the class so here we have let's say uh, there is a function which takes the integer as input which returns the integer as output and here we will say this will return the um, multiplication of this and this okay so now this is how we will write a class very simple class so uh, this we are executing in the Scala worksheet please remember so that's why you are able to see some object here otherwise you will have direct class here okay and uh, so now we have uh, created the class so now let's see how to create an object for this let's say val a equal to new is the keyword used for creating or instantiating the object for class okay so now it will become the object of this class a is the object of first class okay so that will be created outside of the class to access fields and methods okay and now let's uh, call let's call this uh, uh, let's try to uh, you t I mean uh, call invoke uh, this method from outside the class so a dot func of you say 10 you send some 10 also we can also uh, use the uh, fields class fields class members outside the class like this okay now let me save this if you see here a is the object of this class you can clearly see here it right, for this class and the function 10 means 10 here it is uh, passing the parameter as 10 10 into 8 equal to 80 and it has returned the 80 value 
and the value of x is 8 here we are hard coding inside the class so that it has given the value so now we can clearly see that the whatever methods and fields declared inside the class can be accessible outside the class by using a object by instantiating an object for that particular class so now here Scala also has some access modifier like any other language so by default all the fields and methods we are declaring inside the class are considered as public that's why we are able to because we have not mentioned any of the access specifiers it, we are able to read them outside of this class we are able to access them outside of the class even though we create the object here because these are public it is accessible outside the class and there are another access uh, specifiers also there which are called private and protected when you specify private here then immediately it has shown the error hope you have noticed that it is saying that value func is not a member of this you can see that this is the error message we get which means that it is not accessible outside I will simply remove private and immediately it will be accessible see that error is gone automatically I have not done anything so this is how we will protect the I mean we will we can um, mention the access specifiers like public is anyway by default if you wanted to access that class only inside the class inside this first class is the main base class you can have another class B okay and if you wanted to access that then at that moment you can access the private methods okay otherwise you will not be able to okay so this is how we can use the method private So if you can see here private definition and this function inside the class B there is no error here you, you are able to access this function but whereas outside it is saying that method func is cannot be accessed okay in the class first class cannot be accessed in this class because this is a private function I mean private method we are trying to access outside of this class it is throwing error whereas we have created another class inside this base class and we are able to access this function that is because this is a private access modifier similarly we have protected as well if that is a protected then it can be accessible from subclass of the class but not in anywhere else so these three are the access modifiers we have present in the, the Scala so this is about the class friends so hope this is useful to you and uh, if you have any queries please post it in the comment section Thank you for watching the video friends. Thank you.